Hi everyone, welcome to Narisha Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in the last video, I have explained so what is that immutability and mutability of dictionary. Now, in this video, we will discuss how to display elements of dictionary using the predefined functionality and using loops and all. So, here first we are creating one dictionary. We are creating one dictionary. So, I am opening IDLE. Here, so whenever we create a dictionary like d equal to is a key value pair we know that suppose some keys 10 comma with some values with some values. So how can we access the elements means what it is providing the predefined functions here it is whenever we are displaying print d directly it will display all the elements in the same order because we know the dictionary is an ordered collection and next one here so d dot it will show the list of functions which are available here it is whenever we use get whenever we specify the key key is always unique so here it is a, it is returning that value which is associated with that key that is c it is giving so i just want to display all values means what just d dot values function is there values a list of values it will give next i want to display i want to display all the keys a list of keys available that is so now for example i just want to display using loop here we are creating here we are taking we are taking one file i'm saving is so with any name on any location just practice dot py in that we are creating we are writing the same dictionary i just want to display all elements i am using loops for example for loop i am using here it is we can process keys only keys keys are keys are for loop for here we are giving that variable key any variable you can use anyway it is processing keys only that is why I am using that key and clearly name if you want to mention suppose here I am using the complete thing dictionary for key in dictionary for key in dictionary and we are printing that key this is the simple way. So how it will execute means what from the given dictionary we are providing the dictionary object from the given dictionary so one by one it will collect the first key 10 second one is a 20 it will iterate the keys automatically 30 is a 40 like this it will write keys and here whenever we are executing this one see look at this keys are 10 20 30 40 now i want to process elements sir elements I want to process nothing but values I want to process print print values are values are for same story first we should collect the key only key in a dictionary values we cannot process only keys we can process first we should get the key and with the help of key get function we need to call dictionary dictionary object dot get whenever we pass the key it will return the value that we are collecting into a variable called value of course directly you can display but first we are collecting into a variable value and we are printing that value now value so using for loop we can process the keys only with the help of get function and by passing the value key you will get that value so when we execute this first we are getting the keys and the corresponding values we are printing this is how we are displaying dictionary is providing the predefined functionality if you want to get the keys directly you can use keys function and directly we can use a values function also instead of that element by element if you want to access for any reason if you want to process sir for example i want to add to the list 
right sir i want to add to the set if i want to do such type of operation sir so that i am using for loop means yes we can use a for loop elements we can store and like a keys also we can store into the list okay so this is hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you